Welcome back everyone. My name is Eric Diaz, your future real estate agent. Today we're located in Argyle, Texas, looking at a Bloomfield home in a neighborhood called Glenwood. So this is a really nice two-story home starting at $612,990. It is a four bed, three and a half bath, and it is a 3,500 square foot home. So this is a really beautiful floor plan that Bloomfield Homes has. This is the Bellflower. So make sure you check it out online or if you have any uh, questions, you want the floor plan um, or more info on the model, make sure you reach out to me. I can send all of that info over. My contact info is gonna be on the screen in this video and in the link in the description. But this neighborhood has homes starting from around 472,000 and upwards to the mid 700s. Um, it is conveniently located by 377 and Highway 35. You're also gonna be four miles south from the downtown Denton, which is a beautiful downtown. They have a ton of restaurants, really cool walking areas. So I highly recommend checking that out. Um, they do have 65, 60 to 65 foot lots here in this neighborhood. They're also gonna have, I think, 50 and 55s. But right now, the ones that they're building is those 60s and 65s. Um, a lot of those lots back up to a nice green space area so you can kind of enjoy more of the uh, rural or like rural feel of the area. So Argyle still has a ton of ranches. If you ever drive by this neighborhood, you'll see there's a bunch of land and then the neighborhood. So it's still pretty, um, you can say far out from the city, but I mean, you're close enough to have access to pretty much everything. You're pretty close to Louisville Lake as well. So if you are gonna have a boat and you wanna drive down there, you're gonna be fairly close. Um, if you have kiddos as well, you are close to UNT and Texas Women's University as well. So um, all in all, a great location for a home. Um, and the floor plan, again, it's a big home, 3,500 square feet. So if you're a big family or just looking for more room, this is a great option. So this is upstairs. This is kind of like an in-law or a guest suite. You have a really nice spacious room upstairs and you do have, it does have its own full bath in here, which is nice. So really good closet space in there. Kind of have a his and hers closet almost. And then you do have the bathroom. Originally when I was up here, I thought this was the master, but the master is downstairs. This is just a really nice addition to the home. And for the price range that it's at in the low 600s, I think it's a great um, add-on to be completely honest. You have a really nice entertainment area up here as well. You have this nice lounge and then over to your media room, which is really, really cool. Um, a ton of space up here to have game nights, have friends over, watch the games. So really, really good layout in my opinion. And then we'll check out downstairs. So you do have really nice high ceilings, beautiful fireplace right there on the corner. You do have good spacious living room and then this really nice kitchen layout here that kind of backs up into the uh, bedroom slash laundry room area and stuff like that. Huge pantry as well for a big home. So we'll take a peek here in what I was talking about. So you have garage, washer and dry room, and then that door to the left actually goes to your master bath and master bedroom. But this is that master bedroom, huge, very, very spacious. So I was very impressed. And then the bathroom as well, look at this shower. I mean, beautiful shower, super spacious. I like how they didn't include, sorry, didn't include a tub. Um, I don't really like whenever they do because usually they'll have the tub size be really small where you're really never gonna end up using it. So might as well just make the shower twice as big. If you're interested in taking a look at this neighborhood, make sure you reach out. My contact info is on the screen and I'll see you at the closing table.